Kennesaw State University's virtual open house. My name is Jordan Stevenson. I'm the director of student recruitment, and I cannot believe that this day We're has here. finally come. Finally. We are so excited for this week, big week. We're going to tell you how to go through this whole week here in a moment, but we have some awesome people that I get the pleasure of working with that are here to serve you at KSU here on camera with me today. So I'm gonna let them introduce themselves and then we're gonna talk through how this session is gonna go and how the entire week is gonna go. Awesome, thank you, Jordan. Hi everybody, who do who? My name is Natasha Talraja and I am the Associate Director over Transfer and International Admissions here at KSU and welcome again. Awesome, who do who everybody? Welcome to Virtual Open House. I'm Jacinta Luster, Manager of Admissions for Special Populations. We're so glad you guys came to join us. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about how this session is going to go and how this week is going to go. So we wanted to kick things off with admissions, right? Because you have to be admitted to the university yes, you so you can take part in all the really cool things that go on here at Kennesaw State University. So ultimately you can get a degree from Kennesaw State University and go out and be successful in the world as we're going to talk about here um, during our session and during every session that's going to happen mm -hmm. this week. So we're having live sessions. Monday through Friday. Today's Monday. Hello, if you didn't realize. <laughs> I know it's hard after um, a depressing weekend. Um, you don't on. want to talk about it. No, yes. Um, let's not talk uh, about it. I'm an Atlantan. So oh, I'm, baseball. I'm, uh, <laughs> thankfully, I lived through the 90s, the good years of Aww. Braves baseball. But last night, and the whole thing was hard. Okay. And, and also, great. They did a wonderful job. Great season. Uh, <laughs> good job, guys. In spite of it all. So, uh, all, that, all that being said, <laughs> we are doing sessions. So, hello, it's Monday. <laughs> sessions Monday through Friday 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. each day and for an hour during each session you're going to hear from a different academic college at the university or as we like to call them campus partners you're going to hear from people like housing and dining financial aid and scholarship you're going to hear from um, people like the College of the Arts that we have today mm -hmm. the College of Science and Mathematics so awesome sessions your intended majors, we're going to talk about all the majors here at the university. We're going to talk about a lot of people that are here at the institution to help you connect, like people from Student Affairs. Uh, we're going to talk about people that are here at the institution that will help you get plugged into internships and job shadowing and undergraduate research mm -hmm. opportunities, jobs on and off campus, and then future careers. So you're going to hear from everybody this week, and you're going to hear um, particularly from like I said, your intended major, cool things that are happening in all of the academic colleges, and even the Honors College, you're going to hear from them this week. So we wanted to do something different. Why are we doing this? Hopefully you've watched some of our Facebook Lives that we've been doing, and whether it be from admissions, we, we do a lot of them, Jacinta and I are the primary people that are doing those. You may recognize <laughs> Natasha, she's been on one or two over time, or some of her people have Not been enough. on. <laughs> um, and uh, but also a lot of campus partners. So you've probably probably be um, probably have seen orientation. You've probably seen advising, mm -hmm. housing, dining. So we all have different sessions that we're running from time to time. Um, so hopefully you found those meaningful. And that's why we decided to do something a little different for open house than just your average Zoom session. That's pretty much what everybody else out there is doing is some some form of Zoom. Um, and this is different. This is mm -hmm. bigger. This is, mm -hmm. um, uh, you're going to see cool videos. You're going to hear from different people coming and going that are on screen, uh, on camera. Um, this should be a much more interactive experience for you throughout this week. So we want you to join in. You're going to have um, tons of opportunities. I mean, I I'm really good at math. So there's 15 opportunities, <laughs> three hours a day for five days straight. That means there's 15 opportunities. So yeah, there you go. That's, good. And that's the extent of my math skills. <laughs> uh, so 15 <laughs> opportunities to join in. And we want to give you some extra incentive to join in and participate, comment during these sessions. Um, so hopefully you'll pop in when you, when you recognize that it's the college with your major in it or your intended major. Or maybe you have multiple things in mind. You, you're interested in a couple of different majors. Pop in for all of those sessions. Spend a little time with us um, and ask those, those deep questions that you want to ask because we're going to have our campus experts on screen here for you. Um, so ask those questions live in the chat. If you're in, on Facebook or you're on YouTube, you can ask those questions live in the chat and we're going to address them during the session. Sometimes it's going to be throughout like our session today. If you have questions about admissions, we're going to answer them as they come up. So just ask at will 
And when it's an appropriate time, we're going to answer those questions. Uh, some of our college sessions, you're gonna, they're going to be answered at the end of the session. So they want to make sure that you hear all their really cool things. Because a lot of times, the things that they talk about are going to answer the questions that you have. Um, but if not, we're going to answer those questions at the end uh, of the session for you as well. So make sure that you're, you're just asking us the questions that you absolutely need to get off your chest that you want to ask. Um, the other thing I want to talk about, because this is different than Zoom, something that, and I'm using Zoom in like the Kleenex way, yeah. right? You know, it's not a <laughs> tissue, it's a Kleenex. We all, we all say it's not, it's not soda, it's a Coke. Band-Aids. Band-Aids. You know. It's not pop, it's Coke. It, <laughs> Band-Aids is a great, Band-Aids is another perfect example. Yeah. Um, so, so you know, we, our lives have been virtual during this really hard um, COVID pandemic. And, and the, the COVID-19 pandemic has affected us in so many, uh, in, in all areas of life, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we recognize that while this has been a really difficult time, um, not only for uh, our state and for our nation, um, but also for the world, we recognize that the world's still turning and that you're still out there and in whatever phase of life you're in. If you're a high schooler out there, you're thinking, what's next? Uh, maybe you're a younger high schooler and you're thinking about dual enrollment. I want to go ahead and knock out some college mm -hmm. credits. Uh, why not make mm -hmm. my life uh, even, even uh, <laughs> busier? Uh, no, uh, a lot of times students find it's, it's easier yeah, it's than just doing the high school say. classes. Yeah. But anyways, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. I'm getting off track. Um, <laughs> you know, maybe you're fun. out there and you're at another university or you're at a, a community college and you've been intending on transferring mm -hmm. to KSU or maybe you're out there and you're what I call a full-on adult um, you know you're like maybe in your mm -hmm. mid to late 20s uh, and you you say it's time to retool I, I want to go back mm -hmm. to school or I want to start school for the first time I want to go to college I want to get a four-year degree um, we're all in in these different phases of life but I, I do tend to believe that we're all zoomed out to be honest so we wanted to do something that was different. So I recommend if you're out there, you're sitting at home or you're sitting at somewhere where you can cast to a big giant TV. Um, if you're at home and you're normally casting things like YouTube TV or Hulu or Netflix or whatever, um, that you do the same thing with this. You can cast your Facebook or, or your YouTube to your TV if you have a smart TV or you have a Chromecast or something like that. Um, you can cast to the TV and watch us on TV, because this should be all of the, our, the sessions this week should be kind of like a Good Morning America type yeah. thing. That's that's kind of at least what we're going for. You can let us know. Well, TJ Holmes, George Stephanopoulos. You know, yeah, my, yeah. My wow, you started always going to go with the George those are Stephanopoulos. My, She's ready with the, with the big, <laughs> the big names. A lot of big big names here. Big big words to pronounce. Sunday morning. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So if that's it, like, hopefully we're getting we're getting close to that, right? Like, uh, hopefully it feels like that at the at the end of this. Uh, but that's what we're shooting for at the least. So why not experience it on the big screen, on whatever big screen you have at your house? Um, so watch it on TV. If you can't do that, watch it on a computer, right? Um, if you can't do that, then watch it on your phone. We, we are just excited that you're here, spending a little time with us, and hopefully getting your questions answered. At the end of the day, our open houses, our traditional open houses that we have, um, have had in the past, have one been just some of the favorite, our favorite days that we get to, it's not even work, it's, it's days that we get to serve. It's days that we get to tell you about um, what Kennesaw State University can do for you as a student. We get to open our doors. Since we're not able to do that because of COVID-19, because of social distancing, um, I mean, we've, we will have, we traditionally have thousands of people on campus for these big events. We're not able to do that right now. So we didn't wanna do just another Zoom session. That's why we're doing this. Um, so hopefully you get to interact with us a little in a little bit bigger environment. See if you can cast it to your TV. Um, if not, you know, do it on your computer, whatever you got to do. Um, but we wanted to do this for you. And we wanted to bring all of our um, campus partners and our academic colleges out to spend some time with you like we would at our virtual open house. Um, so that being, or not virtual open house, traditional open house. So with that being said, um, make sure and I talked about this uh, just briefly a minute ago. At the top of the chat, if you're in Facebook, um, you're going to see, or YouTube, you're going to see the raffle giveaway. Mm -hmm. um, so we're doing every session that you join in, go into the raffle giveaway and fill it out. It's time stamped by the session. Mm -hmm. So if you go in there right now, it's going to link up to this session. If you go in there at, at uh, 515, it's going to link up to the College of the Arts session, so on and so forth. Um, but go in there and fill out the raffle giveaway. We've got this really cool 
bag do here. Do you best Vanna White? <laughs> um, do, do students know who Vanna White is anymore? No, I don't, no, I have no, no. Idea. I don't think so. so. Yeah. Showing my age. So <laughs> I'm just showing off what we have. That's what it is. Um, so really cool bag inside of with a lot of cool Kennesaw stuff. Um, but inside of here, lots of goodies. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really heavy bag. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm struggling mm -hmm. just to hold it up right now myself. And in, inside here, um, maybe your heart's desires. I have no idea. <laughs> so you want to win it, though, because everybody likes to win stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so fill out the raffle giveaway, and I promise you there's really cool things in here um, for you. Every session you join, fill the raffle giveaway out. And um, we're going to keep tallying them all up through the end of the week. On Monday, the 26th, that's next Monday. We're not talking about like two months from now. We're talking about next Monday, the 26th of October. We're going to randomly pull our raffle giveaway. So the more times you enter, the more likely you are to win. So uh, just keep refreshing. Yep. That's just how it works. Yep. Yes, statistics. <laughs> yep. Yeah, keep refreshing. <laughs> keep refreshing. No. You only get one entry <laughs> per timestamp. Don't just enter trying no, to trick no, the I'm just trying to rig. Don't uh, listen to what I tell you. Don't start making up names. We know, we know your name. Um, you know, so don't, don't start making up names like Mickey Mouse and putting the same email address and it's not going to work. Okay. So enter the raffle giveaway. That's going to be awesome. Okay. Um, so other sessions that are going on, I briefly mentioned this to the, uh, earlier, uh, but we have a session after this one with admissions with the College of the Arts. And then to close out the day, we have our College of Science and Mathematics. So today, if you're interested in anything in the College of the Arts or the College of Science and Mathematics, this is your day to learn more about your intended major, to learn more about the really cool things that are going on in those colleges. So make sure you stay tuned. Um, and we're going to talk about all the other sessions Tuesday through Friday uh, later on. But if you go back to the website, if you, if you signed up for um, the virtual open house, on the website, we have the full list of uh, the schedule for each day, Monday through Friday. So you'll see that there um, to make sure you're making note of when your session is going to be. We also have these things posted on Facebook. I'm um, gonna make sure when, um, say for instance, the KSU Journey Honors College is going to be on Thursday and you're like, I have to learn about the Honors mm -hmm. College, then you wanna make sure you tune in from four to five. Or you wanna learn about housing mm -hmm. and dining on campus. Uh, well, then you need to make sure you tune in on Friday from 4 to 5 because that's when those sessions are going to be. Okay, cool? Okay. Cool. Everybody good? Ready to go. All right, ready to go. Thank you. Um, I know I think I've already talked out my, my entire time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we know that you are here, you're joining in for any number of reasons, right? You may know everything there is to know about Kennesaw State University. Your mom may be President Witten. Um, I have no idea. Uh, actually, I don't, I mean... <laughs> Uh, that would be interesting if, uh, if some of her kids are on here. <laughs> but um, we are going to tell you a little bit about Kennesaw State University. We want you to feel comfortable with who we are as an institution. Then we're going to help you uh, learn how to apply. If you haven't applied yet to the university, uh, we're going to show that video here at the, at the end um, of uh, this, this segment. But um, we want to make it accessible for you. Um, so Kennesaw State University is a big institution. Mm -hmm. yep big institution and it's wild to me because I, I talk about this all the time I grew up in the area high school I went to is five miles away from here and when I was in high school um, in the mid to late 90s it's a long time ago seems like yesterday um, <laughs> no. but a long time ago I know, I know. I know Natasha and I are looking at each other um, uh, just since I can't can't um, uh, identify. relate yeah no. identify no. <laughs> um, but when I was in high school, the university had around 15,000 students. Yeah, we been. were a Division II school. We did not have any housing. Um, so it was, it was a totally different mm -hmm. institution than we are today. Today we have two fully functioning, beautiful mm -hmm. campuses, one in Marietta, one in Kennesaw, um, and over 41,000 students. Mm -hmm. So crazy. It's it crazy. is wild. That's awesome, though. It is I wild. Love it. Owl um, wild. You know, one of the things that I like to think about when I think about the size of Kennesaw State, it's not just size for size sake. We didn't grow the institution um, purely because we wanted to grow the institution. Mm -hmm. Really, what happened was um, we messaged consistently about the value of a Kennesaw State degree, about the value of who we are as a university in the northern suburbs of Metro Atlanta. Um, we have over 150 degree programs at the institution. We're classified as a comprehensive university. 
Um, but we are a, um, a research university that, can, and what that really means to me, let me explain it to you. Um, being a comprehensive university means we're covering all of our degree programs or the degree programs that you could be interested in on the undergraduate level. Everything from the liberal arts all the way to the hard sciences and beyond. Uh, and so we're here with 150 degree programs in pretty much anything that you could want to do on the undergraduate level, as well as all of the pre-professional programs so that you can go on to medical school, dental school, optometry school, physical therapy, doctorate, so on and so forth, law school. Um, you know, I, I just, I, I normally do that and then I just keep on <laughs> tossing out all of the, the professional schools. Um, it's just what I do, sorry. But um, so having all of these different programs uh, makes us a comprehensive institution, but we are uh, classified by the Carnegie um, uh, classification system as an R2. We are a research university. And that means, especially for you, is you're gonna hopefully, you're gonna join in for the career planning and development and undergraduate research session that's going to happen on Friday. Um, we have research availability in all of our disciplines. And we are here to produce new knowledge. That's really what research is in, in kind of a nutshell is um, producing new knowledge that continues to advance um, each discipline. And it's really a special time to be at Kennesaw State because as we have continued to grow, um, we have put a lot of emphasis behind continuing to grow that new knowledge. Um, so being an R2 university, a, a research university is meaningful and it should be meaningful to you um, because it's just, it's a holistic part of your undergraduate education. As you're learning the basics, the foundational knowledge <clears throat> from your degree programs, your disciplines, you're also learning about the new things that are going on in your field, the things that are up and coming, the things that your faculty are experts on and they're working on within your discipline. Those are the things you're gonna wanna know as you head out and you either go to graduate school, you go to professional school, or you get out into your chosen um, career path. So these are meaningful things, and, and it is important to know these things as you look at Kennesaw State University as a potential place for you to enroll in as an undergraduate student. Um, so being a, being a big institution, we have 11 um, different colleges between our two campuses, and those are all represented this week. You're gonna hear from every single one of them um, this week, so hopefully you'll join in. And then there's a lot of things to do yep. on a big university yes, campus. And I think, and I'll let you all talk about that a little bit, but there's that's something that's um, I find we hear from students all the time is yes, um, Kennesaw State has 41,000 plus students. There's over 300 clubs and organizations, mm -hmm. but it doesn't feel that big. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like I'm, I'm at one of the 50 largest mm -hmm. public universities in the United States. No, I, I was here in 2000. Nine, um, and we were at what twenty five thousand students when I was a student here, um, and it's still even then it felt small. Mm -hmm. Like you knew that I could walk from one building to another mm -hmm. building, um, you knew people. So it's kind of one of those institutions. I hate to say, if you want to get lost, you can, yep. but you don't want to get lost. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to know that you have people around you that you're going to see in your classes, mm -hmm. and you'll see multiple times, and you kind of create this like family in this network, especially as you get into your major. I was a business management major. And so you realize like these people kind of become your family. Mm -hmm. And so if you're in a class for, you know, statistics, which was my favorite class in college, mm -hmm. Was not my I was class. like, really? <laughs> it was not the my first favorite time class. I've heard this. But, but it was nice to know that, like, mm -hmm. at the end of the day and after the class, we all are going to gather in one location mm -hmm. to kind of like sit our books down and take mm -hmm. a breath. And it's like, hey, do you want to talk about like what we just learned in class mm -hmm. and kind of create that network? So I think that's one of the great things about KSU mm -hmm. is that you have kind of a built in family as you go throughout your time here, which mm -hmm. I think is great. Yep. Um, that's one of the things I love is that when we do hear these stories of students, kind of like what you just shared, um, it, college is really the time to find out who you are, who you want to be in life. Mm -hmm. So you come here and we really create, there's nothing like four years at a university to create these kinds of opportunities. Yep. Um, there, nothing does it, the, the maturing bridge of life as I call college, nothing quite does it like a college experience. So you come here, you find your niche people, you find the, the different organizations you wanna be a part of, um, and that really, along with your academics, develops who you are. Um, so we give you those opportunities, and we make this a fun place yeah. as well. So there's lots of cool things to get involved in, like we have 
18 Division One sports teams. Mm -hmm. um, so really exciting. Uh, spring is going to be big, by the way. So get ready for spring. I know we weren't able to because of COVID-19 have have athletics here this fall. Sad. Um, but I know it is sad. It's, it's really unfortunate. Sad. Um, we are looking okay. forward to the spring, so mm -hmm. just keep keep an eye out on uh, ksuowls.com mm -hmm. to see all the cool things that will be happening in the spring for athletics. Um, but I do want to talk about something, I'll, and we'll talk about it a little bit more later on uh, in terms of, of coming on campus and taking a campus tour. Um, but when you come on campus, you're going to see beautiful buildings, mm -hmm. really awesome facilities, top-notch facilities, um, and fantastic dining. Yes. So. Uh, I don't know if the people out there know this, but we have been ranked, we've been ranked higher than this. Right now we're number five in the nation for best college food. Yes. And that's a big deal. Uh -huh. So very big deal. Yeah. So. If you if you want to learn how to do food right <laughs> at college, make sure you join in for Friday's session yes. uh, with campus services because we're gonna talk all about how you go into the commons, how you go into stingers, how that cool stuff happens. Okay, so make sure. Um, you're ready for that. So um, <clears throat> and then the, the last thing that I want to talk about yes. is all of these things combined and this messaging and growing to 41,000 plus students. Mm -hmm. um, we are an institution that people absolutely want to enroll at. Yeah. Uh, right now, U.S. News and World Report, you heard this in the president's videos. We got this session started. We're ranked 14th in the nation. This is amongst public and private institutions, 14th in the nation in terms of schools that students are most eager to enroll at. Um, that is an incredible mm -hmm. thing. We've been as high as, I think we were number number nine yeah, or high. 10, mm -hmm. uh, but right now we're number 14. And it's really meaningful uh, because when we admit students, they really want to come here. And I hope that you out there want to be a part of a community like the Owl Nation mm -hmm. that's excited about being at KSU. Um, so if you're out there and you haven't applied yet, uh, then we're gonna have we're gonna show you a really quick video to walk you through the application process. If you have applied, awesome, um, and that and hopefully you you already know how easy it is to apply <laughs> to KSU. But we wanted to make it very straightforward, so we put together this video to show you how to apply to KSU. Awesome. I hope that that really helped you understand how easy it is to apply to Kennesaw State University. Mm -hmm. One thing that I like to talk about with students and families, to be honest, but is do not delay on the application process. Mm -hmm. It's really straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it's one of those things, I call it a pop culture phenomenon, but it's like you, when you're a high school student, um, now transfer students, they, they already know because they've already applied, right? So they're, like, they're ready to go. Um, but you, when you're in high school, you watch movies that are about people going to college and they talk about, 
oh, this application was so hard. <laughs> I had to write 10 essays and all this stuff. And it's, and it's like, maybe for some schools, right. like 1% us. of the schools, you don't write 10 essays, but 1% of the, the colleges that are out there, universities that are out there, you'll, you'll, it's some big drawn out process. Um, our application should not take you more than 30 minutes to fill out. It's information you already know about yourself. Mm -hmm. So don't put it off. Like more often than not in life, we, we delay ourselves, mm -hmm. not necessarily the process. So take that first, foot st um, that first step forward and just, just do it. Um, that, that company that came up with that, they just got it right. Um, it's just do it. Just do the application, yes. and then that's one thing that's out of your yes. way. Um, if you're applying as a first-year student, we're going to talk about transfer, and we're going to talk about dual enrollment here in a second. Uh, but if you're applying as a first-year student, we've removed another barrier for mm -hmm. you, and that's test score requirements. So yay, hootie hoo, hootie hoo to you. <laughs> so for any 2021 application term, that's spring, that's summer, that's fall, and I'll share deadlines with you here in a second, um, we do not require the SAT or the ACT. So as long as you have a 2.6 academic GPA, we're only looking at the five core subject mm -hmm. areas from high school, such so your math, your science, your social science, your foreign language, and your English courses. We're gonna calculate a new GPA for you just based on your academic courses. And as long as you have a 2.6 or better GPA, then you are admissible to Kennesaw State University. Um, and as long as you're on track to complete the college preparatory di um, diploma from mm -hmm. high school, mm -hmm. so those things. Um, if you don't have a 2.6 academic GPA, you can still be admitted to Kennesaw State, but we will need to look at your SAT or ACT scores. So that's from a 2.59 down to a 2.5. Um, then we're also gonna need to see an SAT or ACT score. On the SAT, we're looking at the evidence-based reading and writing, and we're looking at the math. So on the evidence-based reading and writing, you need a 500, and on the math, you need a 490, okay? If you take the ACT, you need to make an 18 on the English or the reading, with an 18 on the math. So that's straight, as straightforward as it goes. That's on our website as well, so it should be pretty easy um, for you to understand. But hopefully, you don't need the SAT or the ACT. So that, that's gonna make it really easy, really straightforward for you. Big deadlines mm -hmm. coming up. So we have our spring 2021 deadline is November the 20th. If you're looking and you're a first year student, a freshman mm -hmm. or a transfer mm -hmm. freshman, mm -hmm. and you want to come for spring 2021, you have until November the 20th. If you're looking at summer, it's May the 1st of next year. And if you're looking at fall 2021, you have two deadlines mm -hmm. that you can look at. One, our priority deadline coming up November the 2nd. So you've got, what's that, like two weeks? Not, week not long, not even, not week long. And a half, not even, yes. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not even. Not um, even. <laughs> I love it. You get the straight answer from Jacinda, so not, not even. <laughs> November the 2nd, you've got until then, get your application in. Um, and then if, if you don't hit our priority deadline, we're a rolling admission school. Mm -hmm. So what that means is you can apply at any point and usually it takes about two to three weeks from the time that you've completed your application mm -hmm. to receive an official decision. And for you out there, the vast majority of you to complete your application, it's gonna be apply. Mm -hmm. There's no essay requirement. There's no letters of rec required, so easy peasy. Um, and then you're going to uh, submit your high school transcript. If you have dual enrollment credit, if you've been out there and you've already completed a semester of dual enrollment, we need to see your dual enrollment uh, transcript as well from, from that institution. So have those things um, sent in. I know that we've got some questions, so mm -hmm. we wanna go ahead and take some of these yeah. questions now and we'll keep talking about uh, the transfer requirements, dual enrollment requirements, and, yeah. and keep going. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So Jordan, with the SAT and ACT scores, do we look at the composite score of those tests? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. We do not look at the composite score on the SAT or the total score uh, on its total on the SAT, composite yes. on the ACT. Um, so yeah, we're only looking at the subsection scores mm -hmm. and that's, um, uh, again, English or reading plus math on the ACT and that's evidence-based reading and writing and math on the SAT. Yeah, yeah, the good question. Awesome, yes. thank okay. you. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Okay, turn it over to transfer. Woo, it's my time. A transfer to transfer. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> such a nice, that's such a nice segue. Yep. Nice, awesome. Well, uh, yeah, like Jordan said, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the transfer process. Um, just like Jordan said, it is relatively easy, um, and we hope that it won't take you too long to fill out the application. But if you do, of course, you are more than welcome to reach out to us at any time. 
Um, but there are some easy steps and we'll talk about that. Um, of course, you wanna do the application and on the application, you will find out that we need to know all the schools that you have previously attended. So some of our students may say, well, I took a course back when I was in high school. Do I still need to report that? And yes, we want to make sure that we get all transcripts from all previously attended universities or colleges. And that's really honestly for us to be able to give you as many credits as possible. Um, some students may think, okay, well, it's been a long, long time since I've been to a college or, or university. Do they still count? They may. Um, there are certainly some courses that we just need to review a little bit further. Further, but just to be safe, go ahead and send them. It won't take long. The great world of electronics now, everything can be done, submitted electronically, and it comes to us within two to four days. So um, with the application, you'll put all that information in, you'll hit that submit button, and next you'll be able to see that we actually need those physical copies. So go ahead, like Jacinta just said, you don't have a lot of time if you are looking for spring 2021. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and request those transcripts. You can send them to us by mail or you can send them to us electronically. Um, once we have all your college transcripts, then we will go ahead and start the review process. What we are looking for is a cumulative GPA of a 2.0. We do also ask that you have math 1111 completed as well as English 1101 with a C or better. Um, and that way we will know that you haven't. We'll be excited to see that you've completed them with a C or better. Um, but once you have all the requirements along with 30 transferable credit hours, you will be pretty much guaranteed acceptance to KSU. Um, if you are attending, for example, Georgia Military College, which is a quarter hour school, that's when you will have 50 hours um, that we require for you to complete. But again, 30 hours or 50 hours, uh, quarter hour, excuse me, with a 2.0 and you are pretty much guaranteed acceptance to KSU and we will be hooty hooing all the way to your acceptance. <laughs> um, so let's talk about a little bit about deadlines. We always say I have an amazing team of women that work with me and we always say if you know you want to come to KSU, do not wait. Go ahead and send that application. We want you here um, and we are here to help you. Um, the spring application is, um, is open obviously and the deadline is around the corner so go ahead and submit um, everything that you need as soon as possible. Just like the transfer and the transfer freshman deadline, it is November 20th so again right around the corner. If you are a summer student, May 1 is your deadline. And then last but not least, June 15th is the fall deadline. So make sure to get everything in and send us an email or call us if you have any questions. Can't wait to see your application. Easy peasy. So quick and easy. I yes, love it. I know, right? And I, now dual enrollment. And now dual enrollment. <laughs> <laughs> it was great, guys. <laughs> Let's talk. All right, so I get the pleasure of working with our special populations, but specifically I get to work with dual enrollment students. And for you guys that don't know, dual enrollment is an opportunity for a high school student to take college classes while they're still in high school. So you get the comforts of still being able to be at high school, still participate in sports or yearbook, or you get to participate in band and do all of those things, but kind of getting a head start on those um, general education courses that every college student has to take when they are pursuing a degree um, at KSU. So as a dual enrollment student, what we're looking for is that you are classified as a high school junior or senior. So if you are a freshman or a sophomore in high school, just know that you're not eligible to participate in dual enrollment just yet, but make sure that you're keeping your grades up because we require a student to have a GPA of a 3.0 in your core classes. So very similar to our mm -hmm. freshman entry terms, you have to have completed two units of English, math, and science. And with your math, you have to complete up to Algebra 2 or the equivalent to that. So it can get a little tricky with that Algebra 2 requirement. And we can talk a little bit more about that if you join one of my info sessions or if you email me, we can talk about that <laughs> as well because it does get a little comp complicated mm -hmm. because we aren't requiring SAT or mm -hmm. ACT similar to our freshmen. Mm -hmm. So that's why we require you to have Algebra 2 because we want to make sure that you're prepared to take that college level math. Um, when you're here at KSU. So the high school GPA and the high school um, applications, which you will need to complete. When it comes to what do I need to get accepted as a dual enrollment student here at KSU, there's a couple things. So 
if you are applying, you'll apply like a traditional freshman. The great thing about KSU is that our application is through Georgia Futures and it's one mm -hmm. application. So you're not having to like okay, search yes. for like, is this a dual enrollment application? Yes. Is this a transfer yes. application? <laughs> it's all one app mm -hmm. and you get to choose your student type mm -hmm. when you're in the application. So when you log on um, to KSU admissions website, go to admissions.kennesaw.edu and you click on the student types, you'll choose dual enrollment you'll apply and it's going to take you out to our um, to Georgia Futures and once you log in you will apply to KSU um, make sure you put your social security number on there it's really important for us mm -hmm. and that comes with funding we want to make sure that everything is lining up so that the state can pay for the classes that you're taking with us um, so apply to KSU the application is free you don't have to pay um, $40 for dual enrollment so that's really wonderful who do you do about that? That's we like it. Nice. Um, and <laughs> then, of course, <laughs> you'll need to submit your high school transcript. If you were previously dual enrolled um, at another institution, say Georgia Highlands or Chattahoochee mm -hmm. Tech, um, then make sure you send us that college transcript. Mm -hmm. The same thing goes for AP scores. Mm -hmm. And that's very similar to yes. our freshmen coming in, our transfer students. Yes. If you have AP scores mm -hmm. and you took the test, please send those scores mm -hmm. to that's one less class that you'll have to take mm -hmm. um, once you're at college. So if you took English 1101 and you did the AP exam, mm -hmm. well then you get to go to English 1102. Um, so make sure that you send those AP scores to us and those college transcripts so we can evaluate it even though it might be on your high school transcript. We won't require SAT or ACT for um, the spring, summer, or fall of 2021 for dual enrollment students, but remember you have to have that Algebra 2 completed. Um, if not, then you would be required to do that. And then there's some um, forms that you'll have to send to us, policy statement, new student mm -hmm. forms, that's all gonna be online. And then it's not gonna be in the application status check, but make sure you do your funding mm -hmm. portion of the application. It's really important. Mm -hmm. You don't wanna have to pay tuition just yet. Um, so mm -hmm. make sure that you fill out the funding application so the state can pay for those dual enrollment classes. Nice. And we got a question. Good old yeah. info. Yeah. yeah, we love questions. Yes. All right, so <laughs> just sent uh, two questions for you about dual enrollment. Okay. Um, how do we take uh, dual enrollment requirements from private universities like if they have done dual enrollment from a different mm -hmm. university that is private how does that transfer over so it's very similar so if a student goes to a public mm -hmm. if they're are they talking about a public high school or they're talking about a public college or a um, private college that they have like gone to a private university okay. and university. done dual enrollment oh. okay so what we will do is we have this wonderful tool called the transfer equivalency and it says what transfers mm -hmm. on the transfer website um, so if you go to transfer.kennesaw.edu what you'll do is you will go to the state it's probably mm -hmm. here in the state of georgia mm -hmm. find the state and then find the college that mm -hmm. you previously did dual enrollment courses at and when you submit that transcript or when you're looking at that equivalency you can see if i took english 110 or english 101 at that private institution it will show how that's going to transfer over to KSU. So just use that equivalency. If you're doing dual enrollment courses, for the most part, you're taking courses that are satisfying high school requirements mm -hmm. anyway. There is some times where you're taking, maybe at the technical school, mm -hmm. you may take a course that's not necessarily um, transferable to KSU, but if you are doing a traditional dual enrollment student and you're trying to finish your English, math, science, social sciences on the high school level, more than likely that course is gonna transfer, but use the articulation agreement or the mm -hmm. um, equivalency to see how that course is gonna transfer. And that way, once you're here at KSU, then we can determine what classes you will need to finish out or be able to take next um, for your schedule. Awesome, and then um, one last question for you and then I have a few more questions. Um, for dual enrollment students, is there like anything they won't be able to do on campus? Like what can they be involved with here at KSU? I love it, okay. So as a dual enrollment student, we wanna make sure that you, I always say you're a mini owl with us. So you get some of the great benefits that come with being a KSU student. So we have some resources that you can use like our smart center, the library. Um, we'll host info sessions about different departments on campus, similar to virtual open house like this. Um, there are 
you know, some mentor opportunities that you can be a part of if you need a mentor. Those things are for those students. Now, when it comes to student organizations, you won't be able to partic participate in all of those just yet. You'll have to be a degree seeking student with us. Um, but any of the campus resources, the rec center, um, if you want to eat at the dining facility, you can buy a meal plan and kind of get to experience the wonderful pizza that we have at um, the Commons or at Stingers. Um, if you need to go into a museum, you can do all of those things. So you get to be a mini owl with us, um, but you may not be able to participate in like the student organizations just yet because you're not degree seeking. Okay, awesome, thank you. And then um, Jordan, can you talk about what does accepted pending mean? Yeah, sure. Um, so we, we have this uh, accepted classification called accepted pending. By the way, congratulations. congratulations. Yes, You've been accepted hooty hoo. <laughs> um, so it, it basically is the acceptance decision until we receive your final oh, high school goodness. transcript mm -hmm. or in the case of a transfer student, mm -hmm. your final college mm -hmm. transcript. Mm -hmm. What it means is that you're still in courses mm -hmm. and you're not fully accepted mm -hmm. until you get us that, those final um, grades from mm -hmm. those courses Absolutely. so it doesn't mean that you're accepted any less right. it's really just so that it's a reminder mm -hmm. for you so for instance if you're accepted right now which you would be because you brought it up nobody else knows <laughs> this this term accepted pending uh that once you finish your spring semester and let's say you're in high school i'm assuming that's who you are um, and you graduate from high school you're going to request to have your final high school transcript that shows you graduated shows all completed courses and grades sent to us we're going to add that to your student file and then you are fully accepted that's all it means so. and i want to say with accepted pending student because sometimes they think well i can't go on to the next step correct Ooh, um, not absolutely and not yes that's one of the things like if you're accepted pending you are still able to go on to those next steps which yes. we'll talk about in just a moment yes. but those are things that you get to do so yeah it'll yeah yeah you can do everything sign up yes. for housing sign up for orientation yeah set, you're, set up you're, your you're net id and password stuff. all the stuff all the stuff you're going to be talking about, about in a minute yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah he's awesome. excited okay great awesome yeah, yeah. Good questions. All right, throw out some deadlines. So deadlines. <laughs> if you are interested in dual enrollment spring 2021, November 20th is your deadline. Please don't wait until November 20th to apply. Go ahead and do that now if you are a dual enrollment student because there are a few extra mm -hmm. things that you have to have to get completed. There's a few extra steps that you have to go through before you can actually register for mm -hmm. classes. So please go ahead if you know you want to take some college level courses, do that now. We offer a summer term. This is brand new for all of our Ooh, students. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you are like, I don't really know if I want to do dual enrollment. I don't want to commit to like a whole like semester. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just want to do one class for like four weeks, then come for the summer. That deadline is going to be March 15th. Once again, don't wait. You can go ahead and start the application process now. And then the same goes for our fall students. That's really our big entrance term for our students for dual enrollment. And that deadline is going to be April 1st. Once again, do not wait because your high schools also have specific deadlines that you have to adhere to to apply to dual enrollment mm -hmm. on the high school level. So go ahead, if you want to take some college classes, do that now. Perfect. Yeah. And I, I want to toss out a little reminder. Everything that we've talked about yes. is available on our admissions website. So yes. admissions.kennesaw.edu, mm -hmm. you can get where you need mm -hmm. to go. Absolutely. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And so for my friends who have been accepted, one, Ooh. congratulations. Hootie Hoo. Hootie Hoo, we're so <laughs> excited for you to don your black and gold yes. with us yes. for life. Right. Yes. Um, so <laughs> here's some of the things that you need to do now that you've been accepted. Whether you are fully accepted or you are accepted pending, these are the next steps that you need to adhere to. So go ahead and set up your net ID and your mm. password. Um, this will give you opportunity to access your AliExpress mm -hmm. account. Um, your AliExpress account is really just your student portal where you can see your financial aid, where you can sign up for your classes, where you can sign up for orientation. It's kind of the hub of everything for you as a student. Make sure that you start checking your student email. Mm -hmm. We tell my um, our dual yes. enrollment students this all the time. Once you get accepted, yes. the only email you should be checking is your <laughs> KSU email. So make sure you check that because that's where financial aid will send a lot of information to you. Um, if you're thinking about scholarships, everything will go to your KSU mm -hmm. email. And that's just really a safety thing. It's a safety portal for our Absolutely. students. So make sure that you um, start checking that. And you can link it to maybe your Gmail or your Hotmail oh. or your AOL. Oh. 
you know, Yahoo, yeah. whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ask oh. Jeeves. Netscape. I don't know, but whatever it is. <laughs> Do you sure. have an email? I, I don't Do you have an email? I don't yeah. know. But make sure you're checking your KSU email. It's really important. Start doing that now. Um, right. Also, when you're looking at your status check, you'll see something that says verify your lawful presence. Mm -hmm. Uh, verifying your lawful presence is very simple here at KSU. Um, what you can do is we have a portal that you can use to upload either a Georgia's driver's license, a U.S. passport, or an original birth certificate. Um, and sometimes your FAFSA will do it, but mm -hmm. we want you to kind of mm -hmm. get a head start. So go to lpv.kennesaw.edu and you can um, satisfy it there. Also, your immunization records. If you are living on campus, if you are attending face-to-face -face classes, you will have to submit immunization um, records. So make sure that you do that. If you have questions about your immunization records, we have amazing staff um, and wonderful people in our registrar's office. If you have questions about that, mm -hmm. um, they're more than happy to oh, answer yeah. those questions for you. And then make sure that you sign up for orientation yes. that's a big one mm -hmm. we want to make sure that not mm -hmm. only today you learn about the different programs that we offer throughout this week as well um, but at orientation once again you get to learn about the programs that you're interested in you register for classes that day you may meet your lifelong friends at <laughs> orientation on mm -hmm. that day mm -hmm. um, you get to eat that day there's just so many great things our campus partners um, new student program make sure you mm -hmm. register for orientation especially if you're in incoming freshmen, you are required to go to orientation. We're not being mean, we just want you to be there because we want to hang out with you. Um, so make sure you sign up for orientation. And if you're interested in housing, we definitely want you to live on campus so you can wake up early and go to class. So if you're interested in housing, definitely sign up for that. Um, sign up for scholarships when it opens November 1st. If you mm -hmm. are um, nice. been accepted for fall, mm -hmm. make sure you do that. There's so many next steps. And um, when you've been accepted, obviously you get that next step, that yep. wonderful mm -hmm. welcome packet. But we wanted to tell you that face to face here. Yep, you're yeah. gonna hear all about all of yeah. those opportunities throughout the rest of this week as you tune in for mm -hmm. different sessions like our financial aid yeah. and scholarship session yeah. yes. tomorrow. Ooh. So don't miss it, that's a big one, right? Um, other things that we want you to do. So we want to talk about some of the ways that you can experience mm. Kennesaw State. So right now we are offering daily campus tours mm. Monday through Friday. Okay, so you've got the opportunity to actually come to one of our campuses or both of our campuses and actually sign up and take a daily campus tour. We're doing those socially distanced. Mm. You're required to wear a mask, show up with your mask. If not, we have masks for you here. Um, but we would love to have you on a daily campus tour. You can sign up at visit.kennesaw.edu. Uh, we also have a really cool thing coming out very soon called our self-guided tour, where you can bring yourself to campus, open up an app, and it's going to guide you all throughout campus. So watch out for that announcement. It'll be coming out sometime soon. Uh, we have a lot of cool special events that happen, both Lots. for dual enrollment, for transfer, yes. international, adult <laughs> learner. So tons of ways to connect. All of those are available on our visit website, visit.kennesaw.edu, and you can sign up for the special events portion mm -hmm. right there, click on it. Um, and then we also have a really cool virtual tour. It's mm -hmm. not just your average boring virtual tour, it's really cool, cool. for both campuses, get really in depth, yeah. and we have a video for you that's gonna take you through both of our campuses that we're gonna play right now, so check this out. Kennesaw State University is home to a legacy that is built on growth, transformation, and tenacity, and is one of Georgia's largest research-driven universities. We're honored that you've chosen to take a look around our campuses. Let's show you around. At KSU, our students come first, empowered to seek, strive, and discover their own path forward. With 13 different colleges on two Metro Atlanta campuses, the KSU community prides itself on being a comprehensive, top-tier, research-driven university with more than 150 undergraduate and graduate programs with nearly 38,000 students from 92 countries around the globe. Our two main campuses, Kennesaw and Marietta, generate energy and excitement. And with our Big Owl bus, it's easy to move from one campus to the other. On the Kennesaw campus, you'll find the campus green, the social hub of the Kennesaw campus. You'll also find the Coles College of Business, one of the top business schools in the country. The Wellstar College of Health and Human Services is home to one of the top nursing programs in the state with full nursing labs for students to practice in. 
and the amazing College of the Arts, with several outstanding performance centers around campus, including the largest dance studio in the Atlanta area that supports the largest dance program in the state. Humanities and Social Sciences houses popular degrees in such fields as communications, criminal justice, political science, and psychology. Also on the Kennesaw campus is the Bagwell College of Education, which is one of the leading producers of teachers in Georgia and consistently graduates top-level educators for future generations. Our College of Science and Mathematics is housed in a state-of-the-art building, including labs and equipment for top-level research. Coming in 2021, our new Academic Learning Center will be a sight to behold and will house KSU's Journey Honors College, which provides students with enhanced academic experiences, including community engagement, leadership, undergraduate research, and global education offerings like the President's Emerging Global Scholars Program. The new center will also feature state-of-the-art advising, tutoring, and study space. And when it's time for graduation or a major sporting event, head over to the Convocation Center on the Kennesaw campus. Interested in athletics? We have 18 NCAA Division I athletic teams, including soccer, volleyball, basketball, baseball, and yep, football. As two-time conference champs, the Fighting Owls are a force to be reckoned with. Go Owls! And be sure to check out the Betty L. Siegel Student Recreation and Activity Center, a beacon of student activities on our Kennesaw campus. Our student body is incredibly active. If you're looking for an activity on campus, chances are we've got it. When you get hungry, make sure to swing by the Commons, one of the top 10 university dining halls in the country. Or if you're on the Marietta campus, go to Stinger's to sample its impressive menu and assortment of options. Our housing options are comfortable, affordable, and right on campus. You'll love our apartment style and traditional housing options, whether you're on the Kennesaw or Marietta campus. On the Marietta campus, you'll be impressed by the Southern Polytechnic College of Engineering and Engineering Technology, Georgia's second largest engineering school with nearly 5,000 students, a leading producer of the state's engineering workforce and home of the annual pumpkin launch. And if you think that's cool, you should check out the College of Architecture and Construction Management, which embodies community engagement with work that can be seen throughout Metro Atlanta and is home to one of the nation's best student home building competition teams. Not to be outdone, our College of Computing and Software Engineering develops top talent with many fully resourced labs, including a motion capture lab used to make content for video games and movies. We've just scratched the surface of everything there is to see and experience at Kennesaw State. We look forward to helping you find your wings as an owl. Together, we're ascending. Awesome, hope you found that beneficial. If you wanna see that again, you can go to our virtual tour website and it's a part of the website, but we wanted to give you a quick view of yes. both of our campuses and all the cool things that are going on here at the university. If you want to stay connected and you want to see more cool things like that, I recommend you follow us on social media. So right now you're either on Facebook mm -hmm. or YouTube or Instagram and you're watching some of the things that are going on, uh, but stay connected to us, like things, join things, be sure to engage with us mm -hmm. in these, these different platforms. Um, and we really show you the real KSU Absolutely. through all of yeah, these different amazing. platforms. So. Um, hopefully you find it engaging. Um, you've got all the things on there. And if you want to tag us in things, tag the admissions account, tag the general university account, um, and make sure you hit hashtag find your wings. wings. That's how you're going to get, that's how you're going to be cool and be yes. connected um, to KSU. You're going to find your wings. Um, so if you have questions in the future, of course, we're doing something different this week, virtual open house, and we're going to be answering all of your questions in the chat as we're able to, we understand that YouTube has been blowing up, which is awesome. <laughs> um, people on there asking all sorts of questions yeah. and chatting with each other, so really cool. We got Facebook starting to light up as well. Um, so ask your questions and we've got admissions professionals and professionals from across the university that are gonna be answering your questions, whether it be this session or future mm -hmm. sessions on all of our academic partners and campus partners. Uh, but if you need to stay connected to admissions, you should see our contact mm -hmm. info right there uh, the main thing I would tell you to do is go to our admissions website, admissions.kennesaw.edu. You get all of this information there, like the KSU admit at kennesaw.edu email address. 
Um, you can call us at a really cool number, 470-KSU-INFO. Uh, what, what? What, what? Yeah, so 470-KSU-INFO. <laughs> um, and uh, so we put, the, we put the numbers on there uh, on, because students don't have, like, those kinds of phones anymore, nope. you know, like, nope. like we did um, growing up. Yep. There are letters on the phone? There, there yeah. are. There oh, are. wow. Yeah. You don't even. Open, open you should iPhone. probably look at your phone. You'll see it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I promise so really cool. But feel free to give us a call. Shoot us an email. Um, and continue to comment here in Facebook and YouTube. <laughs> Stay um, connected to us. Um, so thank you all for yes. joining us for this very first Yay! session Yay! of our inaugural <laughs> virtual open house. Really big deal. Um, please join in. The next session is College of the Arts. Mm -hmm. So a really cool. Um, you're going to hear lots of neat things that are going on here at the institution. And if you're interested in, in majoring in one of their majors, that's cool. Um, and if not, it's uh, I, I love like the arts at universities because it's really cool. Yes. Um, always something really interesting going on. It's a part of the campus community. Connects no matter your major, no matter what you're interested in. Um, connects in so many ways. So uh, I hope you will will stay and hear some of the really cool things that are going on in our College of the Arts. Um, so check that session out. Remember to fill out your raffle giveaway. So yes. very important. Make sure you go in. Um, fill out the forms really quick, easy form. That way we know you watched this session. Stay for College of the Arts. Stay for College of um, Science and Mathematics. Fill out the raffle giveaway each time. I feel like an Instagram influencer. Nope. So you wipe up, to. fill out the giveaway. Um, there's no swipe up. There's just to fill <laughs> out the giveaway. Uh, so make type. Sure, yeah, make sure you do that. Uh, the prize is right here next to yeah. me. I'm not going to hold it up again because it's so heavy uh, and you want it. So uh, we always end with owl eyes and a hootie who okay. so we've got to keep that tradition going absolutely yes thank you all for joining the admissions session yes. of virtual open house <laughs> and hootie who hootie who hootie who